So as uh, Assemblyman Danielson just mentioned, we do not have a quorum, so I will not be reading the public Open Public Meeting Act until we do have a quorum that was already planned. And uh, people know I usually run on time, but Mayor Levine is in the office, it's in the room, so in honor of Mayor Levine, I'm starting a little late. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. <laughs> Um, so we are going to start the ceremony and of uh, swearing in uh, our new council people. And once we have them all sworn in, I will call the meeting to order. So uh, the next item on the agenda is the flag ceremony and pledge of allegiance by our Boy Scout troop. This is Troop 156 and 113. I'm sorry, 154 and 113. Thank you. Take your seats. Although, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Remain standing. We, we are now. Sorry. Wherever you'd like to do. We are now going to have the pleasure of the singing of the national anthem by Chanel Robinson. Oh, say can you see? By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we so gallantly stream and the rock is red clear, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say. Please remain standing. Um, Imam Hussein of Allentown will be giving our invocation. You could come up to the podium. Absolutely. You're in charge. <laughs> in the name of God, the most beneficent, the most merciful, uh, respected council members, respected dignitaries, community members, good morning, and peace and blessings be with you, and a very happy new year to you today. When we start an invocation or we're starting this program, there's some advice that's always important to take to heart, and that is the purpose of faith. 
In the Quran, there's a verse that talks about the responsibility of humanity and the responsibility of faith. In the Quran, God says to us, He says, In Allah, Ya'amuru bil adli wal ahsani wa ita idil kurba wa yanha anil fahshai wal munkar wal baghi. Ya'idhukum la'allakum tadakkaru. What this is telling us, it's telling us that God commands all of humanity and all of society to be just with one another, to show kindness to one another, and to take care of those near to you who are needy and need assistance. And then the verse continues, it says, and it also tells you that God commands you to stay away from indecency, to stay away from evil, to stay away from abusing one another. And these admonishments are a reminder to all of society. When we take a look at ourselves as human beings and members of a society and a community, one of our greatest responsibilities to each other is exactly this, to have morality and good character to take care of each other. And as swearing in as civil servants and adding to the responsibility and taking on the responsibility to our community, one of the greatest things we have to remember is to always remember to be just, to ensure that people can expect justice from you, and then more than that, that they can expect kindness from you. And that as we take this responsibility as civil servants, that they can be certain that those in need will be assisted by us. And that they should also be sure that they will never experience injustice from us, indecency, or poor character. That's our job as members of our community, and we take that responsibility very seriously when we take a role to support members of our community and to take responsibility to represent our communities. And as today with the swearing in of these five council members, and of our deputy mayor in this town as well. That's a reminder that we all want to share with each other and for ourselves to hold ourselves to the highest of standards and that may God help us in fulfilling our duties and being good upright, member, upright members of our society and serve those people within our communities who are in need. That's each of our responsibilities and I'm proud to see members of the community step up to be members of this council, to be deputy mayors, to take this responsibility seriously and to show the best character that we can as members of a community and members of a society to look after one another. So my congratulations to the new members of this council. My congratulations to all of you as well too on the start of this new year. And may this be a year that's blessed for us all and for these council members and for our deputy mayor. And may we pray for their success in all of their affairs that they take part for their community. Thank you very much. Thank you. Before I go on, I'd like to recognize some dignitaries that we have here. That's actually why I started the meeting late. I was taking time to make a mistake on this. On, oh, there's another invitation. All right. Oh, I'm told there's another invocation. I'm sorry. Uh, by Deacon Russell Demkowitz. Um, are you here? Sorry that I skipped over you. Oh, no. And Mayor here, if you know it. <laughs> mayor and Councilman, yes. <laughs> That's right. First, I want to thank the, uh, the Council and, and everybody for inviting me here today to do this invocation along with the great invocation that was done by the Imam. I also want to take this time to uh, publicly thank the council for having recently appointed me to uh, commissioner of the housing authority. Um, I, I thank you very much. I'm glad to be back uh, in service to the, to the uh, public here in Franklin, having served for probably 20 years some time ago. So again, thank you very much for that opportunity. As we gather here this afternoon, we again are taking a great deal for granted. We just assume that these fine people that we duly elected to office will be there without any personal sacrifice. But it seems to me that we need to hold in our mind a great, great deal of gratitude for their willingness to spend hours and days of their time and evenings doing the important work of making decisions in the best interest of the township of Franklin when they could be home. And I speak also from personal experience from all the years I did this. So let, this, let us keep this in mind as we offer our praise and our thanks. Let us pray. Dear God of many names, known by many signs throughout this beautiful world, we pause at the beginning of this singular celebration to invoke thy blessings upon those of our chosen leaders, 
May the year ahead provide this council and all town leaders with the ability to confront the challenges that will inevitably come upon them and to do so in the best interest of this great township of Franklin. May they continue to remember the high interests of the principles which they will pledge to serve. And may their future meetings continue to typify the words that we all hold dear to us. Words like patience, courage, civility, honesty, and loyalty to the goals of the challenges of the citizens of Franklin. And in the name of all that is holy and good, we bow our heads in humility and praise and thanksgiving to the Lord for all that we have. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Deacon. So now we'll recognize the dignitaries uh, that are here. Uh, please forgive me if I missed anyone. These are all I've seen. Uh, but we have Apendra Shevakula, Commissioner of BPU, former mayor, former deputy mayor, former councilman. <laughs> Joe Danielson, who, uh, who filled his seat as assemblyman. former um, chair of the Democratic Party. Uh, and we, have, we are fortunate to have County Clerk Steve Peter, who's been a county clerk now for how many minutes? Hours. Five, hours. Five hours. Excellent. Of course, I'm still getting his mail. Brian Levine, former mayor, freeholder. People still think you are mayor, by the way. <laughs> so any mistakes I make, they're yours. <laughs> um, in, uh, in the audience, we have former mayor Joel Shane of Orange. I saw earlier, I don't see him now, former mayor Ed Zimmer. Oh, there he is, of Rocky Hill. We have very... Recently former and very dear to us, Raj Sherman. <laughs> Person of the year, by the way. Um, we have County Democratic Chairman Peg Schaefer, <laughs> Margaret Schaefer, Chairwoman. Um, we have um, local township chairman of the Republican Party, Bob LaCourt. and Chairman of the Democratic Party, Ron Jordan. We also have our Acting Police Chief and Captain are, are here. <laughs> Members of the Police Union and uh, Firefighter Representatives are here. Thank you all. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Um, so now we are on to the, the main event, administration of oaths. And we shall do this in ward order. Um, and we shall call on the county clerk, who we are fortunate enough to have here, to administer the oaths. First, Ward 1, Theodore Chase. And of course, councilmen may bring up anyone they'd like with them. All right. <laughs> Is the mic on? There we go. Okay. Right hand, please. I, Theodore Chase. I, Theodore Chase. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution. Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. And to the governments established in the United States and in this state. And to the governments established in the United States and state under the authority of the people, under the authority of the people, that I will faithfully and that I will faithfully impartially impartially and justly perform and justly perform 
all the duties all the duties of councilman ward 1 of councilman ward 1 of the township of franklin of the township of franklin according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability so help me god so help me god We're going to swear each in, and then we will give them the opportunity to speak. So the next will be a uh, new councilman of Ward 2, William Galtieri. I, William Galtieri, I, William. do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will. Governments established in the United States and in this state. In under the authority of the people. Under the authority. That I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially, impartially, justly perform, and justly perform all the duties of all the duties. Councilman Ward Two, Councilman Ward, II, Township of Franklin, of the Township of, according to the best of my ability, according to the best. So now for third word, Councilman Charles Onigiaka. I, Charles Onijiaka. I, Charles Onijiaka. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. Bear true faith and, and allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the governments established, uh, and to the government established, in the United States, in the United States, and in this state, and in this state, under the authority of the people, under the authority of the people, and that I will faithfully, and I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly perform, justly perform all the duties of, of all the duties of, Councilman Ward Three, Councilman Ward Three, of the Township of Franklin, of the Township of Franklin, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. And now for word four, Councilman Carl Wright. Best if you're over, yeah, 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 over yeah, on that side of it. <laughs> we'll get this figured out eventually. <laughs> hey, I've only had five hours. <laughs> okay, right hand up. Look at it. So I, Carl R. A. Wright. I, Carl R. A. Wright. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And the governments established. And in this state. And in this. Under the authority of the people. Under authority. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties of. All the duties. Councilman Ward 4. Councilman Ward 4. Of the Township of Franklin. Of the Township of 
According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. And now for fifth ward councilman, no stranger to this podium or just being sworn in many times, Councilman James Vassanella. Raise your right hand, left hand on the Bible. James Vassanella. I, James Vassanella. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that, that I will. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States. In the, state, in the United States and this state, under the authority, under the authority of the people, and that, I will faith, and that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform all the duties, all the duties of Councilman Ward, Councilman Ward Five of the, Township of, of the Township of Franklin, according to the best of, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. How many times is that, Mr. Vesnell? Four, and it's just as nerve-wracking as the first. <laughs> um, the next thing on the agenda is elected official remarks, but I, I think I'm going to change the order and go to the remarks of those um, just immediately sworn in. So we'll do it again in ward order. Councilman Chase, have you any remarks? Well, first of all, I want to thank the voters of the first ward who returned me to office for a third term. And secondly, I want to thank Roz Sherman for all that she has done on the council, I mean, which you can read about in the Franklin Reporter in some detail, but Franklin Day, and especially now setting in motion uh, economic development committee and an economic development study which we hope we'll see the fruits of in the next four years. Um, and that's why, really, I wanted to stay on council to see a number of things which, uh, projects with which I've been involved uh, come to fruition, the Little Rocky Hill uh, water main uh, relining so that people can take showers on their second floor. Uh, <laughs> the development of Catalpa Park uh, <coughs> and this economic development study. We had earlier a uh, recreation study which recommended that we develop more active recreation. Sometimes I've had to defend that against people who wanted uh, absolutely all of our open space to remain open space for passive recreation only, but I think that we need also uh, space for active recreation, including cricket. <coughs> so, uh, I, again, I thank you all for being here, and I look forward to a good active four-year term. Uh, next is second ward councilman, newly sworn in councilman, Will Galtieri. Have I, have I gotten the name right yet? All right. All right. All right. Well, uh, happy new year, everybody, and welcome to 2018. Um, uh, I guess I want to, I have a little bit longer list of thank yous, but uh, first and foremost, uh, 
to my wife who, uh, who she's helped me get through the first couple steps, uh, now to the next stage uh, of this. Uh, to my parents who um, uh, helped me grow up in town and or who, who encouraged me to get involved here uh, and look where I am now. Um, thank you to family and friends for words, words of encouragement and support. And also um, special thanks to some friends who over the past couple months, uh, Darren, Denise, uh, Dan and Peg, Dina, Brian, uh, Assemblyman Danielson, who uh, had me out every day and has been uh, some guidance. Ron Jordan, who's been a, son a sounding board uh, over the past couple of um, years now that we've been working together. And Peg Schaefer, for five years, been giving some uh, guidance, along a lot of guidance along the way. Uh, thank you to Mayor Kramer and council members who have helped prepare me. Uh, you've definitely made sure that I'm ready to hit the ground running. Uh, and last but not least, it's to the voters and especially the residents of, of Ward 2. Um, you're putting a lot of trust in me, and I, I, I strongly appreciate that. I know I have some big shoes to fill from uh, Councilwoman uh, Sherman, and I hope that I can live up to the same uh, job that you did over the past uh, years. So um, I, I know I'm young. Uh, I've been doing a corny, I've been having a corny joke over the past couple weeks that uh, this is the first job with the township that I don't need working papers with since, uh, <laughs> um, but that shows how long I've been with the town now because I have been involved for many years now uh, and it's spanned a couple of decades. So uh, I may look young, but I think I'm one of the mm -hmm. longest uh, residents on the council now. Uh, I think uh, Ted, Ted and Jim beat me. I'm not sure who else. <laughs> Carl, are you up there? <laughs> 25, bro. Nope, I'm 34. <laughs> I got your beat. So um, uh, I'm up there with, the re with some of the council members of being a longtime resident. But um, uh, uh, again, thank you very much for the support and Happy New Year, and I look forward to working with everybody in the upcoming years. Thank you. <laughs> Ward 3, Councilman Charles On Onigiaka. Uh, good evening. Um, first of all, may I use this opportunity to thank my family, most especially my wife and uh, my son, Mono Nijiaka, who came from uh, Washington, D.C., where he's where he studying his uh, pharmacy, to be here with me. Ike and Uzo, I love you all. And uh, you guys worked very, very hard to get me in this position. Also, the West African community that also planned very hard to get me here, too. I am highly delighted. And again, my word, the confidence and the trust they have in me. This is my second run. After the first run, we thought it's going to be an easy task. But my second run was easier. The point that I won all the whole districts in my ward actually shows the confidence and the trust they have in me. And that means I'm doing my job well. And I promise I will continue to do it. Do it better than what they expected. And above all, the township of Franklin. I came here a couple of years ago, and I, in as much as I came from a political background, I jumped into politics of the United States. And I have been moving forward, no drawback. Not by my strength, but the strength of the Almighty who created us on earth. And at the same time, the confidence and the trust everyone has in me. So let me stop so far. I thank you all. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Carl Wright of the Fourth Ward. Hello, how are you? My wife, she's somewhere around, Wendy. My son, Carl, he, I think he just, no, oh, there he is on the corner. He has my name, but he has a Roman numeral two behind it. I love him. The Imam, I want to thank you for being there to help swear me in. Most important, I'd like to thought, thank the residents of the Fourth Ward for sending me back here. And remember that I told you nothing slips past the desk. Um, issues, come see me. Emails work, telephone, mm. I hope to catch you on the telephone, but definitely email me, text me, however you want to do it, and we'll take care of business. Thank you, and Happy New Year.
Thank you, Councilman Wright. And now, fifth ward, Councilman James Vest. Thank you, Mayor. Hello, thank you for being here today. I want to thank my family, especially for being here. I want to thank the Boy Scouts. Just for the record, it's 154, 156, and 113. And thank you very much for the Scouts who always seem to come through for this town. Thank you uh, to the Imam and Deacon Russell Demkowitz from St. Matthias. We appreciate you being here. Um, so Franklin Township, it's a big town. We are about 20, 21st largest in the, in the state out of 565 or something. So basically, there's only a handful of towns larger than us. And there's about 440 some that are smaller. It's a big town. When I was, bo when I was born, there was about 20,000 people. Now we're almost up to 70,000. So the nine of us up here are responsible for the quality of life of all the residents. Responsibility that I take very serious, and I know everyone up here takes very serious. I appreciate the opportunity to again represent the Fifth Ward. As much as it's a familiar place, it's still a responsibility to take very serious. And as you could see, I was just as nervous being sworn in today than the first time I was. I appreciate the opportunity. I'm proud to have grown up here. I enjoy living here. And I'm honored to serve the residents at Fifth Ward. No matter what decisions we make as a council and a town, we will not thri tr thrive as a town. We will not be successful if it wasn't and isn't going to be for the uh, employees that work here. The employees here, day to day, work. And they work hard, and they're committed, and they're dedicated. We make decisions, and we work hard. But whether it's um, 3 o'clock in the morning when a water main break, or responding to a serious car crash, whether they're employees or volunteers, are cleaning up after a hurricane. The town doesn't sleep. It's 365 days a year, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. So I just want to focus a little on thanking the employees and the volunteers that make this town work and work well. In many ways, Franklin has changed in the last 60 years, but in the most important way, it's remained the same. Instead of talking about different accomplishments, I'm just going to mention this. This is the same town that welcomed my parents in the 1950s, second generation, first generation Italian Americans. And when they decided to make Franklin their home and raise us here. And this is the same town today, in the same way, welcoming people from all over the globe. And that is what I'm most proud of living and being on council. In closing, I'm just going to say I'm going to work hard for you. And I sense and hope long after we're gone, Franklin will continue to be a place that will welcome everyone who wants to call Franklin home. Thank you. Well, now we have a quorum, so I'm obligated to uh, call the meeting to order and read the Open Public Meeting Act, one of my great joys in life. Um, in accordance with Section 5 of the Open Public Meeting Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, be advised that adequate notice for this reorganization meeting of the Township of Township Council of the Township of Franklin County of Somerset was made by the posting on uh, the bulletin board at the municipal complex and transmitted to the officially designated newspapers a list of dates annually indicating that this reorganization meeting would take place at the Franklin Township Municipal Complex at 2 p.m. on Monday, January 1st, 2018. In addition, a copy of this notice is and has been available to the public and is on file in the office of the municipal clerk. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Um, Councilmember Francois here. Councilman Gatteri. Yes. Mayor Kramer here. Councilman Onijaka. Yes. Councilman Passad. Here. Councilwoman Robinson. Yes. Councilman Vassanella. Here. And Councilman Wright. Excellent. Uh, we're now on to the public portion um, for public discussion. Do I have a motion to open the meeting for public discussion? So moved. Seconded. Being no discussion on opening for public discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Motion is carried. We are open for public discussion. Uh, at reorg meetings, it's tradition to limit, limit to two minutes per speaker, half an hour total. 
and I would like to um, give a little deference to our dignitaries if they wish to come up first, because they may have other meetings to go to. <coughs> Mayor Levine, I might even give you two and a half Freeholder meetings. Levine. Mayor Freeholder, <coughs> Councilman Levine. Oh yeah, we could. Thanks. I, I was at turn the podium towards you. Thanks, Mr. Mayor, Council. I um, I saw a, a couple reorganizations, but I didn't speak at any, because Franklin is literally and figuratively home, and um, I wasn't actually going to speak. I know people say that, but it, something occurred to me while I'm sitting here. It was um, two decades ago, to the day, that I was first sworn in as a council person here. And I remember members like or Mayor Alex Kuzma, the late Harry Weber, and Councilwoman Francois were there. And one thing they said to me, which um, hopefully I can take to heart, is the election's over, and starting January 1st, uh, forget about party, we're for the people. And, you know, for the most part, that has been lived up to. And now I see here, our, uh, our new county clerk, Mr. Peter, who is part of our county government. And after, um, after two decades, I hope to carry that on and pay that forward. And I hope I can do that, as well as the council and former mayors did for me. So that's why I pledge. I appreciate the time to speak. Franklin will always be home, and uh, I love this town. So thank you so much for what you do. Mr. Mr. Danielson, I see you squirming in your seat. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone. Happy, Happy, New, Happy New, Year. New Year. Congratulations to the council people for your victorious campaigning. Well, I apologize that I yelled at you while campaigning, <laughs> but if I didn't like the way you were dressed, I yelled. And if I thought you were quitting too early, I yelled. But I, you, you weren't the only one I yelled at. I yelled at Jim Vassanella, too, but just because he was Jim Vassanella, you know. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so um, I, I'm going to be short. Uh, I did want to tell a story. So uh, the mayor and I responded to a complaint in my neighborhood uh, involving fireworks. And I knew, I knew the guy for years, and he's a, a friend of mine. He's a... a a Republican as well, one of those angry red hat wearing Republicans. So we weren't getting any vote out of him. So after we uh, successfully resolved uh, the firework issue, as a goof, I added him to my Danielson report uh, mailing list, just so he can never forget me. So if you uh, if you don't know, you should be on the mailing list for the Danielson report because I explained everything I'm doing uh, about what the town's doing, legislation. Etc. As a matter of fact, I even will tell you about the Central Jersey's largest job fair that I host that was started by a The Assemblyman will address council. <laughs> council is not there. <laughs> In any case, um, one of the reports I uh, mentioned that you should uh, uh, periodically check the state's website uh, for undeclared or unfound money that might be wait uh, being held there in your name. Well, that neighbor checked the website after reading my Danielson report and found out they were waiting, holding on to $10,000 for his wife, $10,000. And it was actually held by the company she worked for. The company that she worked for could not find her. That's odd, right? The company she worked for could not find her. And because of the Danielson report, because the mayor and I resolved the firework issue for him, he's $10,000 richer. Which teaches us two things. One, $10,000 can buy one vote. <laughs> <laughs> and number two, you should be on the mailing list for the Danielson <laughs> Report. Now, I want to also, uh, Council, I would like to recognize uh, Brianna DeVoe, because she's a staff member in my office. Where is Brianna? Stand up, Brianna. Let everybody see your pretty face. <laughs> and her, her parents are right there. She is uh, a staff member of mine. And over here is Rob Zuckerman. Rob, raise your hand. Let everybody see your handsome <laughs> face. They put together the Dan Danielson Report and all the events that we host inside. 
And uh, I understand Brianna is a candidate for consideration for the sewage authority. And uh, I'm going to give you a pre-congratulations. I think you might be the first lady of color to be on there. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. She so, is. Yeah. She is. Congratulations. Yes. Very much. So, council, I know you have a lot of hard work ahead of you. Um, you know, if you're going to keep pace that Roz Sherman kept, <laughs> you will be exhausted. <laughs> but, and Roz, let me just tell you, the Franklin Reporter is accurate, but they're 10 years late. You were woman of the year 10 years ago. I love you. And thank you for all your work. Happy New Year. God bless you. <laughs> Madam Clerk, do we have a timer? <laughs> didn't, didn't bring one this time. Okay. That's all right. Uh, any other dignitaries? Pendra. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Chairman, Commissioner Shevakula. Uh, thank you, Mayor and uh, Council members. Uh, Happy New Year to all of you. Uh, when I sit here and uh, uh, think about uh, the day I, I got sworn in in 1997, and uh, uh, as the council members already alluded, that the township has come a long way, and in terms of the population, in terms of the diversity, in terms of the accomplishments, I want to congratulate you for carrying on this torch. I just want to uh, make a plug because we have, um, uh, as Assemblyman Danielson was plugging his uh, report. Uh, I just want to say that, that the Board of Public Utilities, uh, you know, when you look at the weather, it's so cold, and uh, there are opportunities for energy efficiency uh, for low-income uh, families, as well as uh, people who have uh, uh, opportunities to do renewable energy and energy efficiency. Uh, please check out our um, website on clean energy, Office of Clean Energy, and uh, opportunities to, whether, uh, whether you want to change your bulbs from old incandescent bulbs to uh, LEDs, or you want to uh, look for opportunities uh, in terms of changing appliances and getting rebates. So there are opportunities I just want you to be aware of, and uh, feel free to contact my office or uh, contact the Board of Public Utilities. I just want to, once again, congratulate you for, uh, for a great uh, job you're going to do for the next four years. Thank you and God bless. Thank you. Anyone else wish to speak or give a promotional message? <laughs> I'm going to be uh, very brief here. Uh, I want to thank Council for inviting me here today to practice my oath administering skills. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, name and address. Uh, uh, Steve Peter, uh, 73 East Cliff Street, Somerville, New Jersey, 08876. We clerks like to be precise on those things. <laughs> um, and I, I do want to thank the, uh, the voters of uh, Franklin Township who not only selected all of you for, for this honor, but uh, selected me as well. And that went a large way toward getting me into my office. And I want to thank uh, Freeholder Mayor Levine, um, who really has been one of the, 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 few, the few people in the county government who has reached out to me during the transition. So I do thank you very much for your support and help. Thank you. Thank you. Ronald Jordan for Buell Street. Uh, Mr. Mayor, members of council, happy new year. Congratulations. I know how, each, how hard each and every one of you worked. Um, I think both the Armand and uh, Mr. Demkowitz talked about leadership and faith and courage. And part of my job is to help us you know, understand the awesome responsibility that the people of Franklin Township have given each and every one of us. Will, I'm, you know, I'm especially excited. Uh, one of the things that I really want to work towards is making our government inclusive and younger and getting more people involved. So I'm very excited about, about working with you. Uh, I want to invite everyone. We'll have light when the uh, pr program is over today. We'll have light and fresh light refreshments out in the hallway. Everyone is welcome to hang out and just grab something to eat or just say hello. So thank you and welcome to Franklin Township, everybody. Thank you. Anyone wishing to speak? Benjamin Guy, 35 Patton Drive. Um, pretty much, uh, this is a. Uh, this is a election process as far as, far as you guys um, winning your, your selected awards. But the main thing is that uh, this year is about, really about accountability. Like, we went through a lot of stuff over the last 
last couple of years, we're fighting about um, who's right and who's wrong because of election stuff. The election stuff is over. Now it's time, time to pretty much get to work. Um, there's a lot of things on the agenda that needs to be passed on, whether or not it's youthful energy or uh, new people stepping up and actually doing, doing their part. The main thing is that um, there's two major agendas that we actually are going to be dealing with this year, which is one is going to be redistricting. That's the reason why uh, I'm glad Mr. S uh, the Assemblyman so sort of here. We need to talk about this really because it's going to affect uh, really two, two main wars that we're actually doing that touch, talks about boundary lines that we're dealing with and the funding that's going to be coming about. So if we're not getting ahead of this, I'm putting out there now that we started. We need to start talking about this now because if not, we're going to get ahead of, or we're going to get crashed with a couple of funding problems that we're going to have later on. So this is something that's really, uh, really near and dear to my heart because a lot of programs that we have that we fund in this community come off of the funding that we get from state aid, and we need to get ahead of it. And I don't hear enough people, and I haven't heard nobody talk about a plan of action. I heard we have an economic development committee that's there, but haven't had any direct talks about how that's going to impact their budgets going forward at all. So that is one thing I just want to make sure that we're clear about and make sure that, again, we don't lose sight of all the other commitments that we need as far as getting ahead with uh, different youth programs that we're actually trying to get done and the plans of action, they're actually getting them completed this year. So thank you. My name is Ike, 18 Dina Lane. I just wanted to talk oh, to your, everybody. Your address? My address? Yes. 18 Dina Lane. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to um, thank you guys for um, serving the community and also our county and helping Franklin become where it is today. I also wanted to take time out as I spend a lot of my time working with the youth in Franklin. So I just wanted to bring to you guys' attention and everybody's attention that in January, we my company that I work for, which is Middle Earth. I don't know if anybody here heard of it, but it's a youth program. And in January, we are starting a youth center for the kids in Franklin, not only to give them a safe place to have fun, but also to help them with school. We'll have a paid teacher there to um, help them with homework. And this is for high schoolers and kids in the middle school. So um, to any parents out there, or if you guys know anybody or know youth that are struggling or may need help, um, the Middle Earth website will direct you to where that place will be located, and it's just a good opportunity to help give back. And I spend a lot of part of my time working with kids because I know that's the future, and that's what's really going to create change. So, just wanted to bring that attention to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wish to speak? Mayor, seeing no one coming forward from the public, I'll motion to close the public portion of the meeting. Second. Moved and seconded, seeing no discussion on closing public, uh, the public portion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Motion is carried. The public portion uh, is closed. I have to go back to item number six, which would be uh, elected official remarks. Uh, I'm just going to let people know I'll have none. Um, uh, so we'll go through the elected officials who have not uh, spoken. Ms. Robinson. Happy New Year. Glad to be here. Thank you. Mr. Prasad. Happy New Year. Glad to be here. And congratulations to all those who just got sworn in. And uh, we look forward to a healthy, happy, prosperous New Year. Thank you. Councilwoman Francois. Yeah, Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you for being here, and congratulations to our newly elected officials. Congratulations, and I look forward to working with you for the next three years. Four okay. years. Two years for me, actually. <laughs> yes. Two. Two years left for my term. Thank you. Let's be clear. <laughs> to, to quote the great Councilman Wright, ditto. Um, okay, we are now on to... Uh, appointment for Deputy Mayor. We will be going through uh, a number of these things. We, I'll be calling for nominations. Please recall no second is required, but if people wish to second, they certainly may do so. Do I have a nomination for Deputy Mayor? Mr. Mayor? Yes, sir. I make the nomination for Deputy Mayor, Ms. Chanel Robinson, who is outstanding, does great work. I know she's from the fourth ward. She's always on the phone with me. I'm always on the phone with her. If I didn't have a wife, I think she was the wife. Um, and I just want to say, um, 
I'd like to just put her up for this position that I know she will fill and work hard with you to make the office of deputy mayor an outstanding one. Thank you, Councilman Wright. For Second it. And we have a second. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, um, we'll do a roll call, uh, Madam Clerk. We do it by acclamation. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, do I have a motion to close the nomination? The nominations be closed. Thank you. So I'll take it. Moved and seconded. All in favor of closing Aye. nominations? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. Nominations are closed. Um, we can do an, uh, this by acclamation. Um, all in favor of Chanel Robinson, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. Congratulations. <laughs> Ms. Robinson, if you, would if you would proceed to the podium for your oath of office. So I, I can't resist. You'll see, you'll notice Chanel's sister is standing there. And when I knocked on her door campaigning, <laughs> it was a very long stare saying, I, I don't know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mayor, the same thing with me, too. Mm -hmm. I was campaigning with the mayor this, that day. Right. I, Chanel Robinson. I, Chanel Robinson. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. Governments established in the United States and in the And to the governments established in this state and under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. That I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties of. All the duties of. Deputy Mayor. Deputy Mayor. Of the Township of Franklin. Of the Township of Franklin. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Deputy Mayor Robinson, have you any remarks? Um, thank you so much, everyone. Um, again, Happy New Year. I am glad to be here. While my title may change, the work does not. I will continue to serve the community of Franklin to the best of my ability. I want to first um, thank my family for being here, um, my sister for stepping in my mother's stead in her absence. Um, and I just want to encourage the young people who are here today. We need you. You're here not by chance, not because we just drug you here, but to expose you and have the opportunity to see what government is about. You are our future. We need you just as much as, uh, as we need each other, but we need you. We need you to stay woke, pay attention, and see what's going on because our future rides on you. And we have the awesome responsibility to make sure that we're upstanding and doing what it is that we need to do to make sure there's a future for you to take over. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor, uh, for all that you've done through the past year for encouraging me. I would like to thank the rest of my colleagues. But will I pass the baton as I am no longer the youngest member of council. <laughs> so I graciously pass the baton on to you. And I leave everyone with this quote by Samuel Johnson. Integrity without knowledge is weak and useless. And knowledge without integrity is dangerous and dreadful. Food for thought. Thank you. I'd like, I'd like a copy of that, please. That's excellent. Uh, we're now on to item 11, attorney and uh, auditor appointment, appointments. 
Do I have a nomination for township attorney, one year term, ending December 31st, 2018? Um, any nominations, please? Mayor? Councilman like, Vassanella. Thank you, I'd like to nominate a familiar face, a familiar name to Franklin. And uh, in certain ways, uh, he seems to know the town better than most of us, at least from a legal standpoint. I nominate Lou A. Known to be our township attorney. Are there any other nominations for township attorney? I move that the nominations be closed. Second. Moved and seconded. No other nominations? Uh, moved and seconded. All in favor of closing nominations say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. Um, nominations are closed. Um, Madam, oh, I guess we can do this by acclamation as well with only one nomination. Uh, all in favor of Lou Renown for Township Attorney say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. Mr. Renown, congratulations. And um, now, that, now that you're almost working for us, can uh, Mr. Uh, Peters swear you in or does the, and then please proceed. <laughs> All right. I, Louis N. Renown, I, Louis N. Renown, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and I will bear true faith to the governments established in the United States and in this state, and to the governments established in the United States, under the authority of the people, under the that I will faithfully, and that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, justly perform, and justly perform all the duties of township attorney, all the duties of township of Franklin, of the township of Franklin, according to the best of my ability, according to the. Okay, we can, um, well, the clerk needs to be in place to take down the minutes. <laughs> um, now that I have a council, one moment. So um, my attorney informs me that the nominations for the other attorneys, we could nominate separately, or we can nominate them all at once, and if there are no competing nominations, we can take a single vote uh, as acclamation. So do we have a nomination for litigation tax appeals attorney? Mr. Mayor, uh, I'd like to nominate uh, the law firm Shane and Schaefer. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, uh, do I have a motion to close nominations? So moved. Seconded. Moved and seconded. All in favor of closing nominations for tax attorneys say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. That's a nomination for tax attorney. Do I have a nomination for bond counsel? Mr. Mayor, I'd like to nominate Everett Johnson from the firm of Willens, Goldman, and Spitzer. Are there any other nominations for bond counsel? Hearing none, do I have a motion to close nominations for bond? So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. Uh, bond council nominations are closed. Do I have a nomination for township auditor? Mr. Mayor, I'd like to nominate John Lauria of O'Connor Davies. Uh, are there any other nominations? Motion to close nominations. Seconded. No other nominations. We have a motion and a second to close. All in favor of closing nominations for township auditors, say aye. Aye. 
opposed? Motion is carried. We are closed nominations for township auditor. Do we have uh, a motion or do we have nominations for the township prosecutor? One year term. Ms. Ameo. Yes, sir. Um, we'll do it separate. It's, it's separate. Okay. Nomination for township prosecutor. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to nominate um, Erica Innocencia for one year term in December 31st. Thank you. Are there other nominations for township prosecutor? Hearing none, do I have a motion to close nominations for township so prosecutor? Yeah, Moved and seconded. All in favor? Of closing nominations, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. We are closed for the township prosecutor. Do we have nominations for associate township prosecutor? Uh, Mr. Mayor, I would like to nominate uh, Benis Jallo for this position. Second. Moved and seconded. Are there other nominations for, nom for associate, associate township prosecutor? I move the nominations be closed. Second. Hearing no other nominations with a motion and a second. All in favor of closing nominations say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Motion is carried. Uh, we have closed nominations for associate township prosecutor. Do I have a nomination for alternate township prosecutor? Mr. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. I'd like to nominate Kevin Buchan. Bu Buchan. Second. Moved and seconded. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, do I have a motion to close nominations for so moved. alternate township okay. prosecutor? Moved and seconded. Um, all in favor, I'm sorry, yes. All in favor of closing nominations for alternate township prosecutor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. We are closed. Excuse me, Mr. Mayor. Yes. Um, Bernice Jallo would like to be sworn in. Okay. We, we haven't voted yet. Okay. 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 But thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, do I have nominations for public defender? Mr. Mayor, I'd like to nominate Dennis Osciero. Not the first time he's been nominated. Second. And we have a, uh, a second. Uh, any other nominations for township public offender? Defender. I move the nominations be closed. Seconded. Moved in, seconded. Sorry. Um, Yes. Um, All in favor? We have a motion to close nominations. All in favor of closing nominations say aye. 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 Um, opposed? Motion is carried. We have nominations are closed for public defender. Nominations are closed for all our township attorneys. Um, so we can vote. Um, we'll do a roll call vote for all of those. Um, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. A yes means you agree with all of them. A no means you don't. There's only one nomination per office. Councilman Chase? Yes, for all. Councilman Francois? Yes. Councilman Gattari? Yes. Okay. Mayor Kramer? Yes. Councilman Onijaka? Yes. Councilman Passad? Yes. Deputy Mayor Robinson? Yes. Councilman Vassanella? Yes. Councilman Wright? Yes. Thank you. Congratulations to all of them. And then uh, Ms. Jala. Wanted to be sworn in now? Is that the case? Okay. Yes. Then if you would stand, step up. I, Bernice M. Jello, I, Bernice, solemnly swear, uh, solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will the Constitution of the State of that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the governments established in the United States and in the 
the authority of the people. Under the that I will faithfully, that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, justly perform, and justly perform all the duties of associate township prosecutor. All the duties of the township of Franklin. Of the township of Franklin, best of my ability. According to. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. So uh, the next item is item number 13, boards, committees, and commissions uh, appointments and resolutions. My township attorney says we can do this as a consent agenda. Would anyone like to move item number 13? So moved. Seconded. Moved and seconded. So this is a resolution to appoint the town, the Council Standing Committees, the Council Liaisons and Representations to Various Boards, Reappointments of Members to Various Boards and Committees, and Appointments of Members and to Various Boards and Committees and Commissions. Uh, C and D seem very similar, but that's fine. Um, do, uh, I'm sorry, did we have a motion? Mr. Mayor, be yes. before we do that motion, I had a question. Yes, sir. Um, You're saying that we're appointing members to various boards. Is that just council members or that includes the public? No, that's including the public boards. Um, then I would like to pull out one. And she goes on the sewage authority. Can I pull that one out? Okay. Uh, certainly any council member can, as Miravine taught me for many years, any council member can pull any item from a consent agenda. So we will pull that item and we will... Uh, Yes. Thank you. Uh oh. Yes, I was actually reading Robert's rules. It is a motion to divide the question. Um, thank you. Can I? Never mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so, uh, Madam uh, Clerk, if you could call the roll on all items except sewage authority. Do you have the person's name? Ms. DeVoe, Deanna DeVoe, okay. Okay, you're going to pull her name? Right. Okay, so this is a vote for all other uh, committees, council committees, etc. Madam Clerk. Councilman Chase? Yes. Councilwoman Francois? Yes. Councilman Gattari? Yes. Mayor Kramer? Yes. Councilman Amy Jacka? Yes. Councilman Passad? Yes. Deputy Mayor Robinson? Yes. Councilman Vassanella? Yes. Councilman Wright? Yes. Councilman Wright, you have the floor. Mr. Mayor, I would like to nominate for the Sewage Authority, Ms. Laveau. Yeah. DeVoe. DeVoe. <laughs> second. We have a motion. I'm sorry, we have a nomination and a second. Are there any other nominations for Sewage Authority? So do we have a motion to close nominations for Sewage Authority? Oh, no. Second. second. Moved and seconded. All in favor of closing nominations for sewage authorities say aye. 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 I, uh, all opposed say nay. Um, by acclamation, uh, all in favor of Ms. DeVoe for sewage authorities say aye. Aye. Opposed say nay. Motion is carried. Congratulations, Ms. DeVoe. Mr. Ma Mr. Mayor. It, is yes. it to be assumed that the other uh, nominations and appointments to the Sewerage Authority were included in your first it's motion? Well, so it just that one nomination was pulled? Just yeah. want to make sure because there were three others on the agenda. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I we just wanted to acknowledge Brianna since she was here. This is yeah. her first appointment. Yeah, she Congratulations. Did. And Brianna. her parents are here, too. And Brianna. she deserves it. <laughs> Absolutely. Brianna. This is morning. There you go. Okay. Um, are there any other motions to extend the meeting? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, so this, that ends the reward portion of the meeting. Um, Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. Uh, no, uh, for the wait, no I, I, Can our county clerk swear her in for the sewage authority? Uh, I, the sewage authority has the reward in uh, February. 
I, I yeah. prefer we hold they off. Do their own swearing. Oh, they okay. swear them in then. Thank you. Okay. I'm kind of worried anyway. So, <laughs> so just I'm just filling in the public here. So the next will be uh, warrants, consent agenda, and then adjournment. So we are we are almost done, I think. Um, do we have? Um, so the next item is warrants um, or the bills we pay. Uh, warrants in the amount of $4,209,935.54 on December 31st, 2017 are presented to the Township Council for payment. Do I have a motion? Mr. Mayor, I move that the warrants as read be paid. Second. Moved and seconded. Uh, any discussion on the warrants? Anyone wish to pull an item? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Five okay. potato. Um, all in favor? Uh, I'm sorry, roll call. Madam Clerk. Councilman Chase? Yes. Councilwoman Francois? Yes. Councilwoman Gantieri? Yes. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Mayor Kramer? Oh, you forgot me. Yes. <laughs> Councilman Andy Jacka? Yes. Councilman Facade? Yes. Deputy Mayor Robertson? Yes. Councilman Vesanella? Yes. Councilman Wright? Yes. That's the sad story of my life. Um, we're moving on to the consent agenda, agenda. Items A through H, uh, as listed on the consent agenda portion of this meeting, are presented to the Township Council for adoption. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Anyone wish to pull an item? Can, can I bring some attention to two? Yes, absolutely. Could I bring attention to um, F and G that have to do with the... Uh, fees collected annually for uh, oh, weddings that are conducted by the mayor um, annually and the fact that $4,550 is being donated to Second Chance for Animals this year uh, for those fees collected by the township uh, for the mayor's weddings and that we'll be doing it again next year and that's the second resolution so I, I'll bring that to everyone's attention uh, because uh, Mr. Mayor is she allowed to do it or can I just do it? Because I was going to pull it out and he jumped so quick in it. You know, I, I, I was, you know, really. I didn't get to say anything all day. That's quite unusual. That's going to, yeah. God, it's an hour and 18 minutes into the meeting. Um, Dr. Oh, thank Chase. You. Thank you, but I uh, actually I'm glad uh, Mayor Levine is here. Um, he actually stood in for me for was it once or twice um, for some weddings when my friend was ill, and uh, he could have taken the money uh, himself um, that that the the mayor's portion of it, but he also chose to donate it to the animal shelter. So I thank him for that, and council and councilman Mayor Kelly all did that for me once as well. So, Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. I hate to interrupt, but Councilman Chase would like to say something. <laughs> okay. I've lost control, but go ahead. <laughs> I just, since we're calling attention to resolutions, I wanted to call uh, Council's attention to item H, resolution 1812, that we are appointing a new open space consultant. Tara Kenyon, who is Kenyon Planning, and she comes to us from the Somerset County Planning Department with a great deal of experience, particularly in farmland protection. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Councilman Chase? Yes. Councilman Francois? Yes. Councilman Gatte? Yes. Mary Kramer? Yes. Councilman Oni Jacka? Yes. Councilman Facade? Yes. Deputy Mayor Robinson? Yes. Councilman Vassanella? Yes. Councilman Wright? Mercifully, we are on to adjournment. Adjournment. <laughs> motion to motion adjourn. To adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor of adjourning, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. We are adjourned. Be well, Franklin.